So I haven't had any breakfast yeah. either, <laughs> deliberately. Yeah. This, yeah. this yeah. I do this um, for uh, all uh, my seaport patients mostly, um, because it, it gives you the reassurance that the stomach is uh, full or empty or is it solid or liquid or what 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 are we going to deal with? So we can. Uh, apply a little bit of uh, common sense in our rapid sequence. So supine, you need to go supine. supine. Yeah. Uh, I should be able to do that. Oh. Maybe just on the left. Just on the left. You either go supine or right lateral de decubitus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So come down. So again, uh, the the this the logo is is the head. Yeah. That's the head end. So you put your probe in just in the. Uh, right hypochondrium, all you're interested in, we need to increase the depth, which is, yeah, keep going, nothing is happening, oh, yeah, 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 so you see that liver, Have you, has anybody got a pointer? So, mm, mm, not so good. That's fine. Uh, is there a cursor on that screen? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you do it on that screen? Yeah. Yeah. So, so just under the liver, can you see at the top end, near towards the abdominal wall, there is a, a there is a kind of a donut-shaped structure under the just under the liver. Yeah. Is it, can everybody see it? Yeah, so that's the stomach. The stomach has got a very uh, thick uh, muscularis propriosa, the wall. And that is what's seen as black, really black ring. It's like a black ring with uh, an inside is, is, is your uh, gastric mucosal interface. That is what is showing as white. So you can just scan it um, uh, like kind of along the path of the liver. And usually, um, I'll just try and keep Usually you see that the what is underneath that is your superior mesenteric vessels and then the, 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 the white structure there is the pancreas and below that is your iota which is pulsating. Uh, so that's your stomach. The stomach is empty. If I see something like a ring like thing like a donut then I'm really pleased because it's an, definitely an empty stomach. So this is, this is, we're looking at the gastric antrum. This is not the gastric funda. It is the antrum, which is where the stomach goes on to the duodenum. So it is very circular and uh, in, that uh, in that shape. So if I move my probe the other way, kind of exactly perpendicular to it, I can see an elongated view of the same thing. So I'll just do it the other way. So that's the stomach. It's still empty. Oh, come a bit closer. Yeah, I just turn it the other way, and it looks like a finger. It's a leg, finger pointing downwards. So this is a longitudinal view of the same stomach. So here you're seeing more of antrum and a little bit of gastric funda. Well, you have to have your picture, Basco. Let's freeze it, and then you can point, because the laser pointer doesn't work on that screen. Oh, sorry. We'll freeze it, and then you can with your hand. Yeah. Are you freezing? Yeah. So see here. Use the screen behind you, basket. Big one. Okay. Who got that uh, pointer? That's not yeah. working. On this. It is not. So you see that? That's the stomach. Now it is pointing like a finger. Uh, it is just under the liver. Uh, here we are seeing like kind of a longitudinal view of the stomach. So this is the antrum. The antrum is so small. It's completely empty. So you can see in both views, one is a cross-sectional view, another is a longitudinal view of the stomach. So now the fun part is, can we unfreeze it please? Just on, just touch it. Yeah, so now we're seeing a, a circumferential view. So now the fun part is we're going to make him drink something now. <coughs> yeah, so let's freeze this as a comparison. Yeah, yeah, so glass of water. Uh, and then save that picture, please. Yeah. Is there a save button? Save yeah, yeah.
Okay, so we'll <laughs> give him a glass of water. So Sorry, this. Start all day and then this can, you is me <laughs> can you do, uh, Jono? Um, yes. Can you do some uh, free caliper yeah. thing and make a circle around oh, that? Uh, oh, just put a caliper and then free drawing. Yeah, just bring it around the stomach. Something like that? No, it's here. Where is it? Oh, it's there, okay. Uh, yeah. It's because I wasn't watching the... Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> just the outer layer, yeah? yeah. Uh, something like... Uh, the black circle. It has to be out at the outer ring. Oh. I'll just slightly make it bigger. Okay. So it gives you a, a, an area, this 3.5 centimeters square. So that is the area of, of that particular um, um, view that we are seeing in the interim. And usually anything less than 5 means it's just empty. 5 to 10 is, is, is again um, not much. Maybe there is a little bit of fluid in there. Anything more than 10 centimeters squared is, is a clear correlation that there is um, at least more than 1.5 mL per kilo you know, of whatever fluid uh, or content within that stomach. So that's roughly more than 100 mL. So, if, if it is, so the way I remember it is if it is more than 10 centimeter, there's definitely more than 100 mL of content in the stomach. So we'll give him uh, that's Shall roughly about... 100 mL or 200 mL, yeah. is it? Whatever. Let's yeah. see what happens here. Yeah. It's free. It's free. <laughs> Uh, well, 200 mL probably, yeah, oh. two glasses. Yeah. Let's lie down now. That tasted great, that was worth the wait. Uh, some jelly, please. So, so what you will see now is that he's had some water, uh, but usually when we drink something or eat something, we swallow some air as well. So we'll see the air bubbling through the stomach now. So we'll wait for the a lot of air, air inside the stomach now. So the, the, the clear boundaries are not seeing up. So we'll wait for that to go into the antrum. At the moment, it is like kind of a white, whitish, white out. So we'll wait for a few more minutes. And all the fluid will get into his antrum. So at the moment, it is all in the, in the stomach, which needs to come down. Turn to this side, right side, 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 right, yeah. right side. So what's interesting is you pushing down makes me feel like I need to burp. Feel <laughs> 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 yeah. Too much air. Uh, there's a lot of air. Just go back, supine. Will will uh, the air will all settle down? So it's it's it's. We just need to wait. You see that the stomach is slowly getting filled up, and it's like kind of a, a lots of little sparkles of air uh, mixing. It's like a carbonated drink there, uh, with lots of air bubbles. So once we, we once you wait for another minute or so, it'll all settle down. You can't really get a good outline of no no. Uh, See, the, it's getting bigger now. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll give it a few more minutes. So, so the 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 uh, once we see, um, you you can see the solid. If he takes uh, some sandwich or something, it'll look like a solid. 
uh, once the air is all kind of uh, moved around, then it will feel like a completely solid state inside. So you won't see a clear mucosal interface. Um, so we can differentiate whether it is a solid or a liquid. And um, the, the way I do it is that if I see that it is quite, the stomach is full, full uh, and it is, is, is big, more than 10 centimeters square, then what I do is that I, I pass an nasogastric tube beforehand. So, and then I, uh, I say that to the patient that your stomach is full of juice. So uh, we have to pass this tube to empty it before we put you to sleep. Otherwise, there's a risk of all these stomach contents being aspirated. And they usually agree to it. And we pass the tube. And we um, uh, usually we measure how much we get. Usually we get really to uh, more than 300, 400, 500 ml of your suction fill, filling up. And, uh, and, I, and, and I bring the surgeons to sh demonstrate to them that we need to do this NG tube for these patients. If you've got a sick patient in the, in the ward who has got a tummy upset for a suspected perforation, or their stomach does get filled up really quickly with lots of gastric juice because your emptying is completely slowed down. There's nothing, no more emptying down the stomach. It's all getting filled up the juice. So, and, and I feel that that should be a part of the rapid sequence because at the moment, the rapid sequence that we practice is aiming at preventing aspiration, but we are not trying to reduce the risk by going a step further by emptying the stomach. Um, so this way, it will help you. It will reassure you that the stomach is really full. So that, uh, and if it is empty, then you don't have to do it. So you can selectively apply this knowledge in the patients to empty the stomach. But obviously, you can't do that in, in a solid state if they've got solid food in there. Uh, the best thing in, if you see solid is to just delay the operation for uh, some more time uh, and give some, some metaclopramide or something like that to improve the emptying. Okay, okay let's, let's, have a quick, let's, let's have a quick look and we finish this off. <laughs> just turn this way. So when you don't see it very well on the supine, it's always good practice to turn them into a kind of com com turn completely. Uh, because the right la lateral decubitus position will give you a better view. Uh, and um, because the stomach is falling towards, so still there is a lot of um, air in it. That is the finger view that I had before. <coughs> there is too much of air, so the air is stopping us view. The air has to be, either he has to burp it off or the air has to move out. <laughs> okay, just go back to the We'll just get one, the one best view possible and then we'll stop there. So you had about 200 mils of water, is it? Okay. <coughs> it still hasn't come through yet. It's slightly bigger. Can we freeze that image, please, somebody? Ready? Yeah. It's slightly bigger, but not as much probably. We need to wait for a bit more time. Let's do the, can you do the caliper there? I would expect it to go a bit more uh, than that, but uh, I think probably we need to wait for some more time. Maybe as we go along, we'll get him to drink yeah. water and then bring him back to scan again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's gone up to from 3 to 5 centimeter now. So he's at about 100. Probably, and you probably yeah. absorb quite a lot of that water quite quickly, don't you? Yeah, well? yeah, yeah. So we'll probably we need to drink another two, 300 ml and then yeah. bring you back later. Yeah. <laughs> You're still starving, aren't you? <laughs> okay. Yeah, go have some lunch, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Dr. Thank you. Great.